Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. It is Thursday, July the 4th, also known as Traitor's Day, you ungrateful colonials, to all of my American fans, subscribers, friends, etc. Okay, okay, happy independence, though it was better before day for you. Okay, we are looking at today some Joy Toy, new Joy Toy. We've got the new Dark Source Jing Hu stuff come in. This is more of the Northern Hanland Empire stuff. We've previously had uh, cavalry and the horse. Now we've got uh, white feather snowfield archery cavalry and the heavy cavalry plus armored horse and a white feather armored horse. So it'll be interesting to see what these are like compared to the cavalry and the horse that was released previously. Quick look at the boxes. Looks pretty cool. I wonder how articulation is going to hold up on that, but we will see. But it does look nice in the back. Looks like I can get some decent poses. It looks like it's got that same hand and bow that we saw previously. Hand of the arrow and bow, which is nice, because that did look good. And then we've got this guy here, the heavy one, who's well armoured. Got some nice options there. Again, looks great, and some poses can be good, but some will be difficult. Then we've got the horses. Look at the uh, white feather armoured horse. That's quite heavy, that box, you know. Looks pretty much the same, but it comes with a, a, a bow again, so you get like a couple of bows. One of the character, the figure, and you get one of the horse as well, which is pretty nice. And then the heavy armoured one, which I'm not sure is much different, looking at the boxes. Doesn't be, doesn't be, it appears to be more lightly armoured, hasn't got that front part with the uh, armour on, from what I can tell. Let's have a look. But it does look nice. The horses... Hit and miss. I didn't like the back legs, but these are hidden behind the armor, so I think it'll probably look nicer like this. Okay, I'm going to unbox and set them up. I'll be back in the instant. Stay tuned. Here they are. They look fantastic. Not about issues, but they just look so good, it has to be said. So let's look at accessories first of all. So our cavalry guy, the mounted guy over there. Uh, well, both the guys. They both come with this uh, black foot base. They both come with um, six pairs of hands. So they come standard. I say both. He comes with an extra hand. He's got the arrow hand I've got there. So uh, they both come standard with a bit unusual, but it's almost like the standard on figures now, which is a uh, trigger hand for the right hand, which is a bit unusual because obviously I haven't got guns. Uh, then they both come with these open hands, which are pretty cool. The obligatory fists. Then we get a right gripping to match the left gripping. And we get a left trigger. Not sure why on the left trigger. And so on. And that guy has the uh, the arrow hand in there. Um, the horses <coughs> both come with the clear base and the action pose stand, which I'm not going to show because it's the same as on the previous horse release. Put that out of the way. And then on the... They both come with two attachments on the side. But the, there was one on the brown horse I couldn't get to stay in. So you've got this awesome weapon here. And that plugs in on the other side. And this just drops out every time. It wouldn't go in. It's like the hole's too big for this, this pin. But if we look at this weapon now since it's here. Nice and long. Looks great. The shine's fantastic. It's just there little pin pull out so don't be uh, too forceful and break it pushing it in in fact is it got a shape yeah there's one flat side so you've got a push and you might have to uh, twist till it goes in to turn that light off so that's pretty cool um, and then they're just packed with stuff so both the horses have a bow you can you can take out as well which is really really cool so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring him in the I'll bring, I'll bring everything close for a close look. But before that, consider joining the Patreon link in the top right of the screen now. You're going to see videos like this and all the other videos before they're published on YouTube. Exclusive content from time to time and prize draws too. Okay, so please do consider that. Let's bring them in. So here is our one here. Now they can fit the strips. I do sit quite well. This one's not sitting as well as the other riders. I didn't bend his legs enough. His legs are straight, but... And he can't quite get a nice, good enough position, I think, to hold the arrow because of all the bog. But he looks great. 
And so they come with this sword, which does obviously come out. It's the same as you saw previously on the other cavalry, the first cavalry release. The same dagger, they've both got the same sword and dagger. Against the same dagger we saw in the previous cavalry release. The actual bow can fit, if I take out his hand, on both of them, it can actually fit over the quiver. There's one way of doing it, and it will stay, which is really quite cool. Very nice. And the horse, as I said, you've got a bow you can remove from here. You've got the backpack on this side, and there's the other backpack he gets on that side. God, that tail looks like it's going to break off. So, is it going to break? Oh no, it's going to cut the joint, it looks like. Oh, look at that in a little one. The horse looks really nice as well. It's got that sort of armour part, which the brown horse doesn't have. The armour looks nicer. It's been dry brushed, that's what it looks like. So it looks nicer than the Boss Fight Studios sort of armoured tack sets. Very, very cool looking indeed. Let's put it back over there. Let's put him here. Then our other one. Yeah. Just put there. Looking very, very cool. Let's take him off. Got to take this out of his hands. Get the reins out. Okay. So his weapon, again, you can just take the peg out. It's got a nasty, nasty looking hook on it. Very, very nasty. Very long. Same sword in here. He's got the same dagger and that you can actually put this really long weapon yeah. through here and you can even stand up and walk around without his back which is a really really nice feature having that and again you can make it shorter by taking this part out there then the horse so the horse comes with an extra same sword which slots in there the bow again comes out as does the uh, sword the other side, this is the hole where this one is supposed to fit, where I had this other weapon in. And every time I push it in, I don't know if I've got the wrong angle or what, it just... Oh, that was okay. If I push it in though, I swear this is going to fall out. There we go. It pops out. So it's... I may consider gluing that in in the future, maybe. But you've got to get an angle right on this, otherwise it's going to be too low for the horse. And now just knocked his uh, sword out from the other side. But again... Beautiful looking. Look at the look at the the armor work. So nice. And they've got inking on these. Not the highlighting. It looks really really quite good. Oh, I just noticed the lights gone off. And what I'm gonna do is quickly turn it back on. Back in a second. Okay, lights back on. Uh, in terms of articulation, the horse I think will be slightly less than the previous release because of the extra bulk on the armor, and the guys will be slightly less too because a lot more bulky stuff too. But let's get a look. So we only do one of the guys because they're the same pretty much. Let's take this, do the sword in effect, and the dagger. The only difference is the layout of some things on them. So his dagger's there, otherwise dagger's slightly different position as well. Okay, I'll keep that hand in for now. So we have a le oops, left, right on the head, we have a up, down, side to side, shoulders all the way around, there is no shoulder roll. The pauldron does have a, some movement, so he does get over 90%, or over 90 degrees rather, on the uh, lateral. The bicep bend is 90, but really want a bit more. They should have considered a double joint for the, uh, double elbow joint for this, to hold the arrow nicely. Then the wrist is a ball, so it'll move in all directions. Oh no, it's not a ball, sorry, it's a, um, I'm doing Warhammer. It's a, a joint, so find which way it articulates and move there, and then you can twist it. And you can uh, manipulate the joint so it moves in a different direction. Trunk, there's a backwards and forwards, there's a side to side of the turn. Waist, looks like there is no waist that I can tell from there. I think there should, not that I can see. Um, hips, really good as you'd hope, because he rides a horse. Forwards, yeah, it's not bad. Backwards is fantastic, and that's not turning out. So that's really good. It's got a fine twist. It's got double kneecaps, nice and tight. And it's not so ugly, but there's a little hole you can see. Get the light, little hole you can see in the top of the joint there, but it's not bad. And then feet, we get, there's a swivel, there's a tippy toe, there's a 
torsiflexation. flexation. There's no toe articulation, but there's no boot turn per se. He's standing up. Let's use the brown horse since the sword and the sort of, I'm not sure what I thought on the spear, lance, spear, spear, lance, how it has come off. So we'll go from the back. So it's a joint, so you can swivel on a joint, and if you know which way the joint is aligned, which way is the joint, I can't see which way is aligned, there should be another range of motion to another direction of motion, but I can't see whether it's left and right at the moment. So I could change that for up and down. Head and neck, we get a nice movement in there. The head is a nice forwards backwards, and you can twist it too. Um, quite a good motion on that, actually. You get some really quite tight poses. Legs go outwards a little, inwards not so much. Backwards, forwards, you get a small bend backwards, you get a bigger bend forwards, and you've got really nice and stiff hoof joints, which is great. Uh, there is, I think, somewhere, yeah, so there's an upper body joint in the middle too, but it's quite hard of all this armour on to articulate it. Back legs go out quite well, inwards better than the front. Backwards is okay, forwards is small, but that's okay. You get a gain, so you get a really good bend forwards there. Hoof joints the same as the front, very, very stiff as well. So it's decent. Oops. Very, very decent articulation. Again, you don't have those big gaps and hips we saw on the unarmored version because they're hidden by the armor. But look at that in a second. I'll do the comparisons. Get this to stand upright. What have I not straightened up? There we go. There. Let's put that there. Let's put him here. Oops, get a focus. Let's go for size. So the uh, guy or the guy is going to be about the same. To the very top of the figure is about four, three quarter, maybe five inches, around 12 and a half cm. That's to the top of the feathers there. Top of the head is around about 11 cm, about four and a half inches. Horse height, so the top of the uh, blanket is around about four, three quarter, around 12 cm. And length from the back of the tail to the head in this configuration is about eight inches, about 20 cm. So if we do a quick comparison, so what I'll do first, I'll do the horses first, in fact. So here is the original horse release. This is that nasty gap in the thighs, the back legs you can see there. And I've got two colors or three colors? I think it's two of this. If I put that there, we can see it's the same horse. Same horse, the paint looks a little bit different on the brown to the one I just put there, but it's the same horse. It's not a bad thing, but it looks much better than the heavy, heavily armoured version because it covers some of these nasty gaps. Also, these shoulder gaps at the front aren't nice. And you can see them on this version, but your eyes aren't sort of drawn to it because of all the other detail that's going on there. Now if we look at the cavalry figures, so we've got our white feather one here. Let me stand up our heavy, heavy cavalry figure here. Sorry about that. I can see that big long spear, he can still stand up. If I um, put him next to, or the gap to his colleague, his uh, brother in arms, as it were. And I put up the original cavalry release, whose cavalry doesn't say he's heavy cavalry. You see that? There is definitely a matching uh, theme going on there but there's obviously a difference in armor and then the uh we get the same sword same dagger with the original cavalry release but he also comes in his spear which is not as big as the other thing but it's nice to have that to differentiate them from each other this is a great jiang hu release really really loving these figures uh they haven't shown anything new for a little while so hopefully they'll have some more stuff coming soon but this is fantastic. Really, really, really nice stuff. I do like it a lot. Another awesome release by our by our addiction feeding friends at uh, Joy Toy, feeding us with our one of his scale plastic addiction. Nah! With these cool fantasy and sci-fi releases. Very, very cool. 
Okay, this is awesome action toys. Let me turn this out. This horse oh, I'm gonna fall over. This is awesome action toys. I am signing out, saying please like, share, subscribe. Consider joining the Patreon. I'll see you in another video soon. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye bye.